good evening. It is 8 o'clock. Monday, March 18. I have been working the entire day. I had to um, put in a wholesale order um, for uh, needles and cables. And that, that is always, uh, well, you need to pay really close attention. I have been dyeing 24 skeins of merino and 24 skeins of DK weight. Uh, both the yarns in blacky, uh, the other 12 merino in a red, and the other 12 DK in uh, my matte apple chess. That is a burgundy colorway. And oh, it's so pretty. The matte apple chess is still cooling in the pan. Um, at first I thought I'm going to rinse it and uh, hang it up to dry, but um, I turned off the pans like an hour ago, so I'm going to leave it until tomorrow, so that it has time to cool properly. Uh, Apollo was here, but I was recording the Dutch vlog, and then after 20 minutes, I saw that my camera was not doing the things that I expected. So I decided to start all over again. So he has been here for half an hour or 45 minutes or something. So um, and I think he wants to go out now, but he has to wait for just a second until I have recorded this. Yesterday, on Sunday, the Easter yarn swap started so i received my big book of gifts <laughs> i'm not looking inside because i don't think uh the packages are um in wrapping paper uh at least not not all of them <laughs> But yesterday I found this one and this is a self-striping something and I can't wait to knit it up. You see that it's getting darker in here. So this is really nice. And um, Marianne Otger is the one who made uh, my swap package. And today... I just, um, without looking, I just grabbed inside the book and I found this one. This is uh, a hand dyed, so that is really nice. Um, it has beautiful colors, purples and pinks and greens and yellows. I don't think it shows up really well because of the artificial light, but there was a little note inside that said hand dyed. So. The first packages are really nice. Thank you, Marianne. Oh, and yesterday there was also a stitch marker in the little organza bag. And I put it on my, on Kiersi's Mauwe sweater. Um, this marker is when I showed it to you last. So I finished the body, as you can see, spoiler, spoiler. But yesterday morning, Kirsty tried it on and then I placed this marker because I knew I had to do two centimeters of stockinette and five centimeters of uh, ribbing. And then I used the sewn bind off to, um, well, cast off, bind off, the sewn bind off. So I probably should call it the bind off. And then I spent the entire rest of the day uh, picking up the sleeve stitches and figuring out how to go from there. I picked up the sleeve stitches all around. Then I knitted one round in the 
merino yarn. Then I did a knit from back all around in the merino yarn. And then I had to split um, the stitches for the inner sleeve, so to say, and the ruffle. If you do a knit from back in the back stitch, the second one, you get a purl bump. I was separating the inner sleeve and the ruffle. And of course, I put the second, the, the, the stitches with the purl bump on the outside for the ruffle. So I did not like that. So I uh, started again. And now the stitches with the purl bump are on the inside. But well, you won't see any, any of that um, later on. So, and then I did uh, one round with the Abmesha lace fluffy plushy yarn. And then I wanted to double the stitches, but I did not want to use knit from back because of that pearl bump. And I know you can, you could do uh, make one left or make one right. or And there are so many ways. And I, I wanted to have a very clear uh, two stockinette um, duplication. Um, and I remembered uh, an Instagram reel that I saw a while ago. But I'm not smart and I did not save it. But I knew that that was the way that I wanted to use. But of course, I couldn't found, find it anymore. And I think it was in Russian or in Japanese. I can't remember. So that's impossible to find. So I, I did not spend... Uh, much time trying to find it because I had the feeling it was hopeless uh, from the beginning. So I try to remember what it looked like. And I don't know <laughs> if I, I don't know if I did the same thing, but I came up with a very beautiful, um, duplication of the stitches. I I love it. It is so pretty. So, okay. I'm not sure if it um, if it's the same or if I added a step or left a step out, but that's not important. I did write down what I did so I can repeat it for the other sleeve. So, I'm doing this ruffle with two strands. So my, my two uh, yarn balls, my two cakes are on my, hmm, how do we call the spinning thingy? I don't know. Um, I used two strands because I, I thought that one strand would be too light and I'm still not sure how these two different uh, yarns are going to work together anyways I hope that this delivers what I want and what I need for this sweater because this would be a horror to rip it out. And I remember um, that I saw or heard somewhere that if you need to rip out mohair lace kind of yarn, you should freeze your sweater. And I'm dying to know if that really works. I hope I don't need it. But if any of you um, has experience in that area, please let me know. Let me know in the comments. Because 
I, um, I really hope I don't need it, but um, it would be such a shame if I could not save this very expensive yarn, this very pretty yarn. So, but I hope to finish the first ruffle, oh, maybe tomorrow, I, I don't know. And then I can uh, put um, needle tips on this cable and use the merino to knit the inner sleeve. And then we can see how, how it works, if it will work. And if I'm in doubt, I might put the sleeve on a cable again and put stoppers on it and start the second sleeve and then do the ruffle in the merino as well. I think this will be too heavy, but if this doesn't give me the result that I'm looking for, I might do that. Yes. So I hope for a lot of knitting time, the upcoming days, and so that I know for sure if this will work. I absolutely love the fabric that it gives. It is so pretty. It's just this artificial light doesn't do it right. So I, I will show you again later this week when I'm uh, recording uh, at daytime. I also showed this one to Kiersey. This is my DK. And uh, like I said uh, yesterday, I, I really love this color and she wants a sweater scarf. But she, she ordered one in a cruise me. I think this is so much prettier. So I showed it to her and she totally agreed. So this is going to be the color for the sweater scarf. I asked her that if I had enough time, if she want to bring this one or the sweater scarf with her to Peru. She will be leaving in about three weeks, I think. And um, so, so I could try my best to finish one or the other and ignore all my other whips. <laughs> but... Um, there's a heat wave in Peru and she's only going for two months. So she said, no, I'm not going to bring any of the new knits. Uh, I knitted her the Luna sweater last year. She might bring that just to have one warm item to wear if it's cold during the night. But I think that even during the night, temperatures don't drop below 25. So, but okay, well. Um, so I don't have to finish before she leaves uh, for Peru. So I can take my time, but I'm kind of into this now. And I'm so curious to see if it works. So I will probably spend a lot of time knitting this. Is there anything else that I need to share with you? Did I, did I show you this one? Or did I show it twice in the Dutch vlog in the first time, which was the wrong time? Yeah, and I, I don't think I showed you this one. My scrappy sock. I knitted a few stripes, stripes this weekend. I forgot to do the slip stitch pattern in this transition but I decided not to go back. But now I lost the other sock, the one that I have already finished. And I want to do the same striping sequence. It must be here somewhere. There's a lot of knitting here and it's kind of messy here. So um, I did not look very well. I, I did not search very well yet, 
So maybe if I lift something up, it's there. <laughs> but um, yeah, well, when Kiersey tried this one on, I could not stop knitting this. So um, I will for sure try and spend a lot of time on this one. She will come home again this Saturday. This Saturday, it is the pop-up iftar. As you all know, it is uh, the month of the Ramadan, the holy month for the Muslim people. And each year we have a pop-up iftar. Uh, the iftar is the first meal after a day of fasting. And um, there's a very um, active... Uh, Western and Muslim community here in uh, the in Nijkerk, and each year this pop-up iftar uh, will be held on a Saturday night, and everybody brings some food or drink or whatever, and um, then we um, spend the evening together and uh, breaking the fast together, and it is such a Lovely night. I am so looking forward to this. To this. Um, the funny thing is that there are people that I actually only see during the pop-up iftar. We live in the same city, but we never we never meet during the year. But if we get together uh, on the yearly iftar. It is so lovely to see everyone again. So I'm very much looking forward to that. But that's why Kirsty is coming home. Because we uh, we have been going to the pop-up iftar together for years. And um, so uh, she will be home then. So then she can try it on again. And she will be staying home until Monday. Um, so, who knows? I can't imagine finishing this sweater anytime soon, but on the other hand, I can't really put it down either. So you will see. Um, well, I will talk to you again tomorrow. I love that it's Monday again, because now I get to talk to you. You might think, well, well, no. If you would think that, you probably would not watch this. Um, yeah, well, I don't know what to say. I would say um, I will see you tomorrow and happy knitting, happy crafting. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.